freaking my neighbors out by now. <laughs> it's funny because that one's right across the street. Right there. Works with his garage open all the time. And I swear he always sees me out here just like, uh, uh, uh. they're probably like, what does that chick do for a living? Or is she just real into herself? I'm gonna go back inside now. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing today. Um, today's video is going to be on this look that you see right here. I created this on Instagram last week um, and I was getting a lot of requests to do a tutorial and people were like, I, you guys were like, I really hope you filmed a tutorial on this. I didn't, alas, I did not. So I decided to film it today for you guys and kind of show you some of the products that I've been using. So with that being said, um, this video is in partnership with Juvia's Place. I actually used her, um, their vegan uh, and cruelty-free brushes for this look that I did on Instagram as well as her liquid lipstick, and um, which is paraben-free, cruelty-free, and also vegan. So um, let's just dry, dive right into this. I'm gonna show you guys how I created this gorgeous look um also like i'm like falling apart over here i like like it kind of looks like i spent time doing my hair don't quote me on that but it kind of looks like i did but really my clip-ins are just like clipped back into my head back here like no rhyme or reason they're just showing and i probably look like a bionicle chick like in the back back here so we'll just let's just ignore that okay Oh, before we move on, um, YouTube's been doing this really weird thing where they're not telling you guys that my videos are going live when they're going live. So please, please turn on notifications. Um, tap that little bell icon if you wanna get notified when I upload a new video, even if you're gonna watch it later. Um, just so that you guys, you guys know when there's a new video up. Um, I've also been thinking about doing this thing where I text you guys when I put up a new video. It would be something that you would opt into. It wouldn't be like, I'm just gonna like, grab your information off the interwebs and text you and be a weirdo. But it would be like, hey guys, I've got a new video up and it would text you. This necklace is like unnecessarily loud. Just don't mind me. Um, so I was thinking about that, but until then hit that bell icon notification, whatever the heck it's called and turn on notifications and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy yourself and you wanna see more and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy yourself and you wanna see more. Let's go ahead, get started. Oh, I'm so sore from working on uh, my chest. Let's freaking do this. Okay, I'm gonna put the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, this is the color corrector in pink, just in here, cause my skin's thin and all of my veins show. So we're gonna try and cover up a little bit of that purple. Now I'm taking some ColourPop concealer, which I think I've like literally only used once. This is in shade Fair 5. I'm using a brush from Juvia's Place. This is vegan and cruelty free. Those are the only kind of brushes that I use. And it's so freaking soft. I really like the uh, brush shapes that they offer too. They're really unique. Um, like I'll show you guys one that I really love. Um, there's no name on this guy, but it looks like this and it's like so good for getting underneath the lash line in there So I'm gonna be using that one today. I know you guys are always in the market for good brushes Good brushes are like really important when you're doing a makeup look like before I started my YouTube channel And I, I didn't hardly have any brushes I was like literally using brushes that I was using since like high school I kid you not and you know kind of graduating out of that and now that now that there's like more affordable cruelty free brush options out there like makeup is so much easier now we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow this is the um brand new palette one of the brand new palettes from eva um my life is eva on instagram i've been following her for a little while so this is exciting to see um this is called it's all wild and she did this collaboration with color pop and this palette really speaks to me because it's just like it's warm tones. You've got like a really nice bronzy shade over here that's really gorgeous. So um, I'm just gonna go in with this guy first. And I'm taking this super nice fluffy Juvia's Place brush and we're just going to start applying. Look how well that like blends that out. It's like the way that it's shaped too. Can you see that? It just goes into your crease super, super nicely. 
So freaking soft too. I feel like I'm feel like rubbing Brixton, my rabbit, like on my eyeball right now. Yes. Next, I'm gonna deepen this up a little bit in the corners by grabbing this guy with the same exact brush. Because this is pointed a little bit in the center, it makes it really, really a perfect brush to just kind of like set this in here. So I'm also going to pull this onto my eyelid area too on the outer edge. As I was getting ready for this video, I was like, like ready to film, I was like, I'm not as tan as I was when I um, actually like created that original look. So I was trying to debate whether I wanted to put like some bronzer on or something or like all over my body so I'd look a little tanner because it just like looks so tan and glowy in the sun. So maybe I'll have done that for that little intro video, you know? Can somebody throw some like Mexican candy through the screen, please, because I am hungry. I was eating some earlier. What's your guys' favorite indulgent food? Like if you could only have like, like one food as a snack or a treat, like during a movie or whatever for like the rest of your life, like what would it be? Let me know in the comments. Now for the really cool like metallic shade right here. Oh yes. We're gonna load that onto the brush. And then I'm going to <laughs> sweep it over this area and pull it into the inner corner and up here in the inner crease. Oh, boo -hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. See? I just realized I wasn't recording some of uh, that, which is why I have foundation on and whatnot. So. Oh, idiot. Um, <laughs> I'll kind of briefly go over what I did and I'm gonna add a little bit more underneath the eyes and stuff, but I just used the Juvia's Place. This is like one of my favorite brushes because look at the shape of that. You can get that in any crease any underneath the eye, inner corner, it's amazing. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of our lighter brown right here and just apply a bit more of that and diffuse it underneath the eye. And this like fits under there, so perfect. I love it. I struggled for so long to find a brush like this size that can fit in like the crease area or right there or here, it's like, it's surprising, like there's not many of them out there. I started applying a bit of my bronzer off camera too because my camera was off. Um, but I'm gonna be, this is the same brush that I use for my foundation. I'm just gonna swirl this around in the CYO bronzing and illuminating compact and just add in some more contour. This brush is so pretty. I'm gonna take this Juvia's Place brush. This is like the perfect one for, and um, this one isn't labeled, but this one is so good for getting in there on the nose. The way that it's shaped like makes it real easy. Going with this uh, Juvia's Place brush, this is like a really good one for setting underneath the eyes, blush or highlight because it's a little bit tapered. You can just really get it into these areas really nicely. I'm gonna be taking the Sigma Chroma Glow um, highlighting palette and I'm gonna dip between this one, this one, and this one for our highlight. Oh yes, so much yes. I can't get over how soft this damn brush is. This is applying the highlight really, really nicely and giving us like really good payoff. I'm gonna take the same brush that I did for my foundation and bronzer and I'm gonna be using the Nude To Me NYX Ombre Blush and I'm just gonna swirl that around in there and then just apply. Why am I holding this like this? <laughs> That hater that commented about making my birthmark darker. Hope hope you're uh, you're watching. I'm gonna darken my freckle right here because foundation can never cover it. And I'm just gonna there we go. Boom. 
It's a little, is it lopsided? It's a little lopsided. I'm gonna put on lashes and mascara off camera. I'm gonna be using Pure Pro eyelashes in, I don't even know what kind they are. They look like this. And then I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. I'll be right back. Sometimes when I look at lashes, I'm like, whoa, those are way too aggressive for me right now. And then I pop them on, I'm like, hmm, okay. For lips, I'm gonna change it up a little bit this time just so we can see a different shade um, that's somewhat similar. I'm gonna be using Soil from Juvia's Place right here. The packaging is super cute, I love this. Um, I also really love their liquid lipstick formula. It's really comfortable as someone with dry lips, like the comfortability of a matte liquid lip it's gotta be there and these are. They're very, very comfortable to wear and even with dry lips, I can wear these and I'm not like an hour later, I'm like, oh, my lips feel like total sand, you know? Oh, their shade is so pretty. But glides on so nice too, the pigmentation is awesome. We are still working on one dip, by the way. This shade is so awesome. I love it so much. I love how the makeup turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Everything that I used in this video, including the vegan brushes and the liquid lipsticks that I use from Juvia's Place is all linked down here in the description box, as well as everything else that I used for this tutorial. So check there. I also have my hair color linked there, which is from my hair color line, actually, <laughs> excitingly enough. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and we will chat with you in the comments below. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed yourself and you wanna see more and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos by me and also turn on notifications so you get notified YouTube's been doing this weird thing where they don't tell anybody that I put a new video up which is really disappointing I'll stop rambling and we will see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>